Alright, anyways, Jasper. I forged it was you. <laughs> okay. What does that even mean? You awaken, bleary-eyed and hungover. You're not sure how, but a planned weekend of fun and relaxation turned into a week-long event, complete with a bout of serious spending to keep you and your cronies entertained. I I like the idea that I'm just inside my base. Like, I don't rebase the entire time, and there, the ambulances and all the Vanguard people are trying to tend to the people, and I'm just on, like, the intercom being like, No loitering! Go <laughs> home! <laughs> And they're all look, and they're all at the foot of a volcano. <laughs> yeah. <they're hearing. laughs> Why is the city is so close to a volcano? <laughs> you still got a plenty of reserve cash for when things get tough, but the gold-plated boat that's now embarrassingly decorating the bottom of Lake Merritt did set you back financially. <laughs> I mean, it was a good idea. In, Kai, in what theory. happened? Okay, so like. Uh I thought it would be great to do another, like, interruption of the mayor's presentation, and I was gonna, like, one-up any display he had with my gold boat and, like, a whole sound system, but what I didn't anticipate were naval mines, and it kind of went south when the boat crashed before I got near. No one the saw me fail. I, I interpreted this as, you told your minions you want a golden yacht, and they gave you a yacht made of gold so it doesn't float, because it's if not buoyant. I can make it float. <laughs> uh, plus that private trip to the moon. <laughs> that was just fun. All right, Elon Musk. That was for fun. Rocket fuel, extra oxygen, and mid-flight snacks. Who knew space travel would be so expensive? After laughing at the idea of getting a job or renting your lair's extra rooms for college kids. <laughs> I imagine imagine you were still in SCAD and you and you're looking for you're looking for an uh, apartment, right? And one's a volcano you know, list, listing for volcano and it's like, uh, one bedroom, one bathroom, no kitchen unit. <laughs> it's just like eight hundred dollars a month. It's cheap. And it's in a volcano. <laughs> That'd be a while. I would go for it. <laughs> Uh, uh, you decide to do the obvious robbery, and while banks were fine when you were see, we need to get back to our roots—just old-fashioned bank robbing. Exactly. And while banks were fine when you were starting out, you feel like it's time to graduate to something larger. Besides, most of the banks in this town have gotten pretty wimpy about their defenses. Token security forces, unlocked faults. It's a damn shame, is what it is. This town's coming to just a shit show these days. You'll have to bring that up on Dark Space <laughs> It is Reddit! Instead, you're going for the jackpot. Even if it takes days to plan, dozens of troops, you must, your most, and your most expensive gadgets. That's right. You're going up to the Federal Gold Depository of Fort Clanks. Alright. Only a handful of villains have ever tried to pillage the place, and only two or three made it out alive, much less with anything in their pockets. Hopping on your computer, you scan your database for information about the fortress. In case it wasn't obvious from the name, the place is heavily fortified. Thick metal walls, electric fences, more metal walls, more electric fences. Two. They got creative. Huh? Two rows of fences and walls. <laughs> I like to think it's that in that order, too. And for those intrepid thieves with a taste for the old school... Barbed wire fences, a crap ton of video cameras, and a small horde of explosive mines tossed into the mix. It's like a massive, impenetrable lasagna. Except stuff with beautiful gold instead of beef and cheese. Cheese is beautiful gold. I don't know how to rob the uh, cheese cave. <laughs> That's not to mention the thousands of heavily armored guards and military units watching the place 24-7. Crack squads all. They make Merit City's police force look like children wearing cheap Halloween costumes. If they don't get you, the tanks and attack helicopters probably will. Oh my god. They really toughened up this fucking fort. You know the juice is worth the squeeze, but it's all a matter of getting at it the right way. So, either I just lead an all-out assault with everything I got, use my new teleportation device to sneak in my stealth squad, create a diversion by staging a fake alien invasion in a nearby city. Okay, I don't... As funny as this would be, I don't know if it'll work, because I don't know why the gold deposit would, like, give a shit. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, this is like theatricality to T, right? That is. That is. That's, 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 I feel like I gotta try. I feel like just leading an assault is kind of boring. Yeah. 
Let's go with the uh, alien invasion. See how it goes. I want to shout out Omni Kitsune, by the way, for the solid Metal Gear Re uh, Revengeance reference. Let's continue. A week later, dark storm clouds suddenly appear in the midday sky. Lightning crashes like the sound of doom. A few miles from Fort Clanks, the locals in the small town of Elizabethville All right. watch a flag. Watch a flag. Well, you don't think that's a name for a place? It's so bland. It's just Johnsville. <laughs> Johnsville. No, that's Johnstown. That's next door. <laughs> Uh, watch a flying saucer descend from the heavens, firing laser blasts left and right. At least it looks like a flying saucer. You know it's just one of your airborne assault vehicles, heavily modified to look like a hostile invader from an alien world. But hey, there's no reason to ruin a surprise for everyone else. You're always wanted to cause your own modern day the War of the Worlds panic. Classic. Crowds of people run in a panic as more of your crafts descend. A few land briefly, discharging your cr troops now clad in a weird metal armor and green skin. I just painted them. You just painted them. You assured your goons that the dye would wash off when they hit the shower tonight. Lying is fun. Uh, <laughs> you rev up your stealth assault vehicle, preparing to head for the fort while its defenders rush to the town. But then your radio crackles to life, and your plan evolves. Attention, all residents of Elizabethville should evacuate the city. We have provided transportation that will take you directly into the safety of Fort Clanks. Find the military vehicle throughout town. I repeat, find a military vehicle to be taken to Fort Clanks. Hell yeah, that's a way in. You give a few quick commands to your troops, and soon you and the rest of the squad are clad in tacky-looking clothes from Villain Co's dumb yokel fashion set. I, it's the fucking shirts from the first stream. They're just back in the Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Just back in the Hawaiian shirts. You and the squad find one of the waiting military vehicles and climb aboard, getting a free ride into the very place you plan to rob. The only thing that can make this better is that the guard started stuffing your pockets with gold bars. There is a lot of people inside, though, now. There are. Which Once makes it inside, hard to you know and your... who's missing. You and your group sneak away from the rest of the civilians being escorted through the fort. Normally, it'd be impossible to breach security like this, but the majority of the fort's troops are busy dealing with the alien invasion. You head straight for the main vault and, with a curt nod, give your explosive guy, explosive guy the okay to blow the door. <laughs> you have, you do have one one guy who's not the heavy. Honestly, this plan's go gonna went a lot better than I thought it would. Have you ever had a plan go wrong in the best way before? Like, I genuinely thought this was just going to hit, sh like, go to shit instantly because I decided to do a stupid alien invasion, but the game said, yeah. Yeah, that works really well. Yeah. Once the smoke clears, you and your team have con have confronted with, a now with the near impossible amounts of gold and something else which you hadn't planned for. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Kids! Kids! There are kids in the vault. Getting germs all over your beautiful gold. One of them has his finger shoved entirely up his nose. Oh my god! It's horrible! You can only guess that they are or were on some kind of field trip. Luck lucky little punks. The only trips your lame school ever went to were your teacher's backyard where you got to do community enrichment by painting fences and pulling weeds. You make a. Did, weren't you in like a rich family? What school did you go to? Yes, apparently, rich shit kids. A heavy set frightened lady pushes past the kids, putting herself between you and them. Honestly, she looks a lot more frightened than any of your students. She sounds Don't hurt them in a his in a histrionic voice. Then pale faced, she faints. What? I did which nothing. You didn't, which you didn't even know people still did. What does fainting go out of fashion? What is this? But I've done nothing. I walked it's kind in. Of embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, now it's just you and the kids. Are you here to steal the gold? A goofy Anyone looking girl ever... with glasses asks you. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you not to talk to strangers, kid? I flick her glasses off her face and laugh. I need to build the world's greatest chocolate factory. I might do that. I just don't tell them it's just for me. <laughs> You're going to be the guy at the beginning of Charlie and Chocolate Factory where he had to build a chocolate castle that melted. Classic. Me. 
awesome she shouts wait she's right that would be awesome you could make the chocolate and market it to the world and then never ever sell anyone a single bite exactly what i just said except maybe this kid you have to credit her enthusiasm this is her charlie bucket <laughs> yep moral reflection moment you're an evil person you're a profoundly evil person but you're not entirely certain you're an evil enough person to turn a group of kids into dust just because they got in your way i'm not and even if you did, you've seen the response. You've seen the responses that kid killers get, both on dark space and the real world. The combined superhero and vanguard efforts to wipe you from the face of the earth would be nothing compared to the social ostracism you get from the villain community. I'm glad that villain Reddit has standards. They sure do. Look, we cross. We there's a line at children killing. Dr. Arachnus can pull this kind of stuff off because everyone's bone deep afraid of him. But you're not Arachnus. Not yet, anyway. So instead, you... I, I also want to point out, Arachnus probably doesn't on Reddit. She fucking does. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. Convince them with a villainous monologue to help me escape. Scare them into carrying some of the gold for me. Uh, offer them cool weapons if they can't <laughs> just load them with guns. <laughs> Pop them cool gadget gun. equipment if they help me out. So this will obviously end with them shooting each other. That's a bad idea. <laughs> this is the way that actually gets them to die and everyone to hate me. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, let me just look at my my stats a real second. I got some ingenuity here. I'm not. I don't have enough terror to scare them. Ingenuity is your highest stat, followed by theatricality. Very closely followed by activism. Um, so I think it's honestly between offering them cool gadgets and equipment or convincing them with a villainous monologue to help them, me escape. And I think this is a really fun idea. A villainous monologue? All right, Kai, before you click that button, if this is this what you're going with? Yeah. Kai. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I uh, disconnected for a second. Uh, give me right now the monologue that you would do. Uh, it would go something along the lines of children. Today, you are not school children. You are thieves, and the gold is ours. We ha have all of the power. Now help me carry it out, and I'll shower you with more gold and chocolate, probably. All right, let's see if it works. Uh, now is a good time as any of these kids to realize that the world is a sad, dangerous place. <laughs> let's do this. Listen up, kids. Let me tell you what your lives are going to be like. You're going to grow up, go to high school, get pushed around, picked on by people telling you to follow the rules, just like your parents do now. You're going to college and learn a whole new set of rules about paying your bills, your student loans, not making a scene, eventually graduate and get a job where someone half as smart as you gets paid twice as much as you to tell you what to do. They're going to make you follow the rules for the rest of your life if you let them. You know what I do every day? Whatever I want. When someone tries to make me follow the rules, I tell them to go to hell. Because I'm a villain. That means freedom. So what do you kids want to be when you grow up? I, uh, I'm, all right, so I uh, quit. I'm not doing the stream with you anymore. I'm going to go be a super villain because this man's spitting straight facts. It's me. I'm doing it. <laughs> this man's spitting straight facts. He didn't even get started on fucking mortgages. <laughs> and the economic crashes. There's there's a long moment. And then a, a little fat kid in a, in a brightly colored t-shirt stands up and shouts, When I grow up, I want to be a villain. Then another, a little dweeb of a girl in overalls. When I grow up, I want to be a villain. Soon they're all on their feet, chanting. You raise your, you raise your voice over the din. Why not be supervillains now? Help me escape with all this gold! Go distract the guards coming this way! All you have to do is yell wildly and run out of here! Doesn't that sound better than following the stupid rules? I'm able to contain himself as the excited kids rush past you, streaming down the halls and yelling like crazy! You wipe your eyes, you never knew you could be so damn inspiring. I'm a fucking inspirational leader, Parker. After your goons pack millions of dollars worth of gold in the bags, complete with a classic money signs, of course. Of course. You prepare to leave when all too familiar figure steps into the vault. Oh, is it her? It's her. Steelheart. 
you mutter. The troops around you nervously point their weapons at the super spy. You just hope they don't do anything embarrassing while you're trying to act impressive. Steelheart barely seems to notice. I'm just saying, I didn't give them dangerous weapons or shit. I just told them to run around and scream. This if you look at Steelheart and say, I didn't say anything that wasn't true. I'm just saying, it could have been so much worse. Imagine if I did give them the guns. <laughs> then Billy shot Tommy, and then that, it was, just, that was just it. It's over. Uh, What are you doing here? She asked with genuine confusion. What are you doing with those kids? Didn't know they'd be here. You mutter a little sheepish. To your annoyance, she snorts with laughter. Are you serious? First Arachnus sends a mindless army to kill you, and now you decide to rob Fort Clanks the day my sister's kid is here on a field trip. You've got you've got crap for luck, you know that? This isn't my fault. Besides, doesn't the second in command of the world's least competent anti supervillain agency have better things to do than babysit? Or did they demote you for being careless enough to let Arachnus infect thousands of people? You respond with a grin. You're way, way off your plan, but you're not going to let her see you sweat. My hands are just like time... drenched. Yeah, it's it's the it's the Cam Peel skit where he just there's dread it's just waterfalls coming off of you. I'll let that sad excuse for a taunt slide, Emperor Nefarious. But hey, at least she uses your whole name. But only because you're still on my very short list of villains I don't absolutely hate. But seriously, can you just get out of here? Grab a bar or two as a souvenir and get the hell out. I've got bigger fish to fry and can't have you getting in the way. Bigger fish? Getting in the way? You're the biggest fish around! You and Steelheart have an understanding, but you can't let insult be on, on your honor stand. Since she's clearly not busy enough to just let you watts out of here with the gold, she you should probably come up with a quick plan to get her out of, the, out of your hair. Of course, you didn't plan for any of this, so it's time to improvise. So either... Fight her, trick her, scare her, or what do you mean? I didn't plan for this. I always have a plan. I would go for that if I wasn't terrified of killing her because a lot of <laughs> these planning point options are like, they die. He's just, yeah, he's like, I did plan for this. Pulls out a deagle and shoots her. Yeah, it's like, that's what a lot of these seem to be. You haven't it's, spent any planning points yet. I, I've spent one. I spent one earlier. Okay. When we... Um, I think it actually was well, when right. the per, the Drake was in the uh, coffee shop. I think I think that's correct. But um, I love the idea. And by the way, I love the idea of you finding here. Like this is a super spy, and I your combat is uh, let's be frank, nothing. And I love the idea of you put your uh, bags down and then do like the put up your Dukes thing and start just moving and just bouncing. That was exact absolutely what happened. She would kick my ass if I fought her. By the way, so if absolutely, if there was like a quick save option or some shit, I would go for the planning point, but I'm not. I do it. I do it. No, I'm not doing. I'm gonna go with trick her. Do it. Do it. Do it. I've already right. killed one man. Listen, can I do it? No. Can I do it. Fuck the you. likelihood that it kills her is probably low. Parker. Yeah. If she dies. Uh huh. It's your fault. That I will accept these terms. Okay. I'm not doing it. No. I'm a coward. <laughs> you were so close. Very I can close. feel your finger about to hit the button. Very close. But no, I'm you a coward. You were so close. I am a coward. You smile before pressing a button on your suit. Seconds later, a dozen holographic versions of yourself appear to surround Steelheart. As you and the holograms all start circling her, she fails to hide the priceless look of confusion on her face. Steelheart makes a move, using her pistol to shoot bullets. Oh my god, she's got a gun! Oh, she Bullets had a gun. Straight, straight three of the holograms. Yes, yeah, now I have the image of you putting up, your, putting up your dukes and she just shoots you. Yeah, if I fought her, I'd die. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Steelheart makes a move, using her pistol to shoot bullets straight through the three of the holograms in quick succession. So... Your relationship with the super spy is definitely escalating. Still, you manage to survive this bizarre uh, variant of Russian roulette. The holograms then all... I love the idea of, like, she shoots them and you're like, wow, we really took it to the next level. Wow. The holograms then all charge at her, forcing her to punch and kick through air and in intangible light. Distracted by your fake, she doesn't see your high-powered shock weapon coming. 
strictly short range, it's still powerful enough to knock out a resilient fighter like Steelheart. You deactivate the holograms as your vanguard foe lies on the ground, uh, sleeping like a deadly, well-paid baby with a terrible fashion sense. Hey. Right. Good on me. You shocked her brain and killed her. I didn't... Shut... <laughs> She's... Oh. She, no lethality went up, so... It's okay. She's alive. You I shut up. Terror went up a little bit. Did it? Is this sixty? Was it a sixty before? No, I think that was actually pretty low before. It was under. Combat. Oh my god! Your inspiring speech made your activism shoot through the roof. Hell yeah! My theatricality <laughs> has not gone up a smidge though. Not even with the fucking alien invasion. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Whatever. <laughs> Steel tarts down. Not exactly according to plan, but the job is done. You turn around to see the school teacher. You've forgotten about speaking into a device. That... Oh, that was her. No, the, sc the school teacher. Yeah. Yeah, she's speaking into a device. That's that's not you talking. Oh shit! Sorry. Steel heart is down. Not exactly according to plan, but the job is done. You turn around to see the school teacher you've forgotten about speaking into a device attached to her right ear. You notice for the first time a small bull's horn tattoo on her hand. Uh oh. There's someone else here, a super villain. Took down Steelheart single-handedly, actually. The lady nods a few times before, uh, to nods a few times before pulling herself from the floor with a surprising grace and walking toward you. A communicator extended, "Put it on." No one ever says please anymore. You think? Still, curiosity dictates that you at least find out what the hell is going on here. Your name, please. There's a woman, a Russian accented voice through the earpiece. I'll tell you my name if you tell me yours. Can we chat later? I've got some gold to steal. Someone who finds accents very sexy. <laughs> Let's <laughs> not get too far ahead of ourselves. <laughs> All you hear is silence for a moment. Voice analysis complete. Your name is Emperor Nefarious, a supervillain from Merit City. Short operation time, but your track record is good. The dark special reputation is solid. You've taken down a few heavy hitters, and Steelheart hasn't shocked you yet. Yeah. Great. Uh, oh, I guess another type of there. Great. You've got a secret admirer. A secret admirer with really, really good records. Great. Hmm. They even have an image you on dark space. A villain that's not hard on the eyes? No. Hey. The woman continues. It appears you're actually worth introducing myself to. I am the Countess, and I serve Minotaur. So, I believe Minotaur was the European like mafia group, yeah. weren't they? They were, they were yeah. like the super evil group that I don't know if I wanted to mess with. I'll also point out, I'm imagining her like, do you know that? Um, I think season three, like villain from Teen Titans, that like st was basically like uh, stretched herself, like she was made of rubber, oh, like Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm imagining. I, I'm looking at. I'm just imagining Mirage from The Incredibles. <laughs> yeah. Um. The woman continues, it appears you're worth introducing myself to... Oh, yeah, you did that. Okay. Your eyes widen upon hearing the name, Minotaur. The only group powerful enough to take on Vanguard in a straight fight. The scourge of Europe. The masters of the maze of crime. This is how bad your luck has gotten, that you've managed to run into both Steelheart and Minotaur stooge on the same job. All you need now is your 8th grade PE teacher to show up, and everything you've been trying to avoid all your life will be here. He might compliment me on my tackle. That's where he learned it. You know what? You know what? Omni Kitsune made the reference earlier. I think your eighth grade PE teacher was just Senator Armstrong. Maybe. That's where you learned it. You didn't tackle him. You like suplexed him in the air with a triple somersault landing on his head. It's not often people beat us to our goals in Plan Nefarious. Unfortunately, though, you're trying to steal gold already earmarked for Minotaur's technology budget. You understand how expensive it is to stay ahead of the competition in this game. So if you could just step away from your money and walk away, Miss Tracton will let you live. You understand. The school teacher smiles at you coldly. You went through all this trouble and she expects you to walk out of here with a, without a dime? But the, fact, but the fact is you're dealing with a pretty serious criminal organization here. They've got ray guns, clo cloning devices, and a million other high-tech projects that put anything you've researched and development team has created to shame. Not to mention several literal armies of terrifyingly vicious groups. Simply put, they're rich, and they're powerful, and you're not. Still, you're not going to close the balance by just letting them waltz away with your money. And if you think you've got the skills and reputation, you might be able to get them back, get them to back down. 
So either I can try intimidating the Countess to, uh, into letting me complete my plan, try convincing the Countess to make a deal with me, or figure out what to do with the gold before Mentor arrives. So obviously, intimidation goes into terror. I, it's not enough. 60's decent, oh, yeah. not enough. I don't think it's enough for the Countess. No. no, no, no. Um, there's also letting her, uh, convincing her to let me complete my plan, which probably is ingenuity. Yeah, yeah, I would probably probably agree. Or sorry, convincing. That's what I meant. This one. Yeah, that's what you said. I think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, convincing would be ingenuity, or figure out what I to do. The last one. Yeah, figure out what oh. to do with the gold before Minotaur arrives. So like, try and do something to it to try and sabotage what they're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that might be. All right, let's try, let's think about let's not think about the stats. Let's think about which of these was probably likely to work. We have the Countess, a member of a. The Minotaur, which is a highly elite European crime organization. I don't which think one intimidating of these them is going to happen. That's just... I don't think you physically could intimidate them if no. you tried. Trying to convince them to make a deal and figuring out what to do with their gold before Minotaur eyes. I'm still thinking early on that mm. the uh, I didn't want to like sort of uh, work with Minotaur. Because they were a little over the top. Mm-hmm. So I'm probably going to try and do with figure out what to do with the gold before Minotaur arrives, because I still don't need the money. It'd be funny if I did something to it, like turn into a giant, like melted it somehow Actually, into a giant statue of myself. I thought you did need the money because you sunk a golden yacht and took a trip to the moon. That's right. I did do that. Um, We'll, we'll have to figure out what figure out what to do with the gold before Minotaur arrives does. I, f I feel like this is Minotaur is the first super villain we've taken like seriously. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because we didn't really have much of a choice with uh, Arachnus. Yeah, he kind of just did what he wanted, and we had to sort of deal with it. Uh, it's really it's a real coin flip. Mm -hmm. I'm leaning towards figuring out what to do with the gold because I don't want to work with them. Yeah. But that'll involve dealing with the teacher. Yeah, you do have someone who's probably an assassin standing in front of you. But I got all my goons. I still have planning you, points. You, you do still have planning points, I suppose. Now would be definitely a good time to use them. I'm going to go with figure probably. out what to do. Okay. Sorry, but first come, first serve. You quit before tossing the device to the ground and blasting the fake teacher with your shock weapon. All right, oh, wow, lovely. that was easy. All right. Since talk is cheap and gold is expensive, you'd better figure out what to do with it before Minotaur's troops arrive and take the choice out of your hands. So either I only take half the gold and leave the rest to Minotaur, steal all the gold and leave none for Minotaur, expose all the gold to radiation and tell no- Oh my god! Fuck. Expose all the gold to radiation and tell the world! What does that do? What does that do? I've turned all your gold into uranium. Get fucked. Or I cover all the gold in chocolate. That's right. Sweet, sweet chocolate. That does literally nothing. It'd be hilarious, though. I guess you would get an increased theatricality, and you would, I would also question your sanity. <laughs> it's are you gonna? Are, are you gonna? Uh... <laughs> so is the first one like a bribe almost? Probably. Like hoping they'll leave you alone for leaving some gold. I'm kind of tempted. What's okay? Me. What's what's the worst that would happen if you took it all and left nothing? They'd come for me. And I already have Arachnus biting at my ass, so I don't know if I want to do that. It's going to be one of these two. Whether I want to be funny or just have money. I still like the get fucked option. This is just really funny. It's really, really funny. Um, I'm going to take after gold. You're going to take after gold? I'll, if, if they come after me, it'll be less dramatic, I think. Yeah, yeah, probably. I, t I legitimately well here's the thing you remember the thing when you shot the zombies full of like glue and feathers and yeah. then it just did nothing i feel like that's the chocolate option yeah does nothing if you only take half the gold they can only be half as angry <laughs> as if you've taken it exactly all, right? that's literally what you just said yeah that's literally what you just said i'm a genius at least with half at least with half the gold, you'd be able to buy some toys to defend yourself when Minotaur comes for you. You swear some global crime syndicates never learned how to share. It's you. Time to get out of here. You mutter before pressing a button on your suit. 
The ground begins to shake and rumble as a massive diamond-tipped drill bit bursts through the insufficiently armored floor. Why didn't I start with this? <laughs> Why didn't you start with what this? What the fuck? You'll have to give Slog some kind of bonus for coming up with this part of the plan. Hey! Slog! He's so Wait, smart. no, not Slog. is just the underminer from Incredibles 2. He is! And a chef out. Much better than... That's better than the original idea of escape of escaping past all the military jets and helicopters in a hot air balloon. Why was that your idea? Well, that would have been my idea if I took any of the other two losers. Now I have Slog here to help me out. That was the kind of plan that got boot that got Boo's banned from the brainstorming session. No one allowed to drink while in the planning. Several so goons jump out and start fil uh, filling up the driver the drill drill vehicle storage. Com compartment with gold bars once it's full and ready the goons jump in and disappear to make way for another drill which does the same once half the gold is gone you hop into the last drill and make your escape nice good on me yeah hope oh, minotaur doesn't kill steelheart <laughs> I hope not. but uh, there wasn't didn't seem to be an option to do anything like interact with her in any way yeah i assume if you weren't yeah i assume that nothing like that would happen back at home a few days later is that? Oh, no, that's a, uh, news anchor. My, my mother is a saint and you know it. Calm down, Biff. I'm just trying to accurately convey just how devastating Hurricane Norma will be once it hits the West Coast. Moving on, can you please tell us what you've learned about the recent Fort Clanks attack? It appears that whoever sacked a seemingly impenetrable gold reserve managed to get away with nearly every bar. Bad news for the nation's economy, I'm afraid. The likely suspects are the notorious crime syndicate Minotaur, but a group of school children explicitly at this scene claim another villain beat them to the punch, stealing half of the gold beforehand. The name they give was Emperor Nefarious. As a card was found, it matches Emperor Nefarious' pattern. Yeah! You shout out while standing on your comfy recliner, standing on your comfy recliner sofa. You're pretty sure the big news, news services are going to pick up this clip, which means you just became national news. Hell yeah! By the way, I thought I'd just check because we're doing anything. Yeah, go for it. Activism now 73%. Why did that activism help? Did you left some for Minotaur, I guess? I guess so. You ever, also, I haven't earned a planning point in a while. Nope. I haven't really had an opportunity. Well, that doesn't really tell us when earning a planning point is a thing. We just, it just kind of happens when we do something right, I think, right? Or something good. Yeah. You settle back into your sofa when your phone starts ringing. Unknown number. Steelheart, maybe? You click to answer. A taunt ready on your tongue. It is rare that I underestimate people. The voice is velvet, the Russian accent amused. Clearly, you're more than just another one of Merit City's laughable supervillains. Minotaur respects power, as do I. Please, let us make it up to you with an invitation to our villa. Our high council would love to have a chat with you. And I would love to make your acquaintance in person. The helicopter escort will be at your compound in the morning. I'm sure you're too courteous to keep them waiting. And then there's a sound that might have been someone kissing the air in front of their phone. The line goes dead. The Countess having already moved on to this, to some other act of murder or flirtation or whatever else that she she does. It appears you have impressed Mentor enough to, that they want to have a chat with you in person. They've never really seen yourself as the global crime syndicate type, but it's not like having access to Minotaur's resources wouldn't let you catapult up to the A-list. Plus, you always wanted to see a villa and figure out how it's different from a mansion. Which isn't to say you trust them. If this is a trap, you'll be ready for it. All right. Hey, guy, you want, you want to join a European crime syndicate? No, but if I reject their offer, they're definitely going to be upset with me for turning them down. Surrounded by...